What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have an all pink, super glam, like full coverage makeup look to share with you guys. I kind of got really inspired because I was browsing through some of my old videos and I used to do so many full glam makeup looks and I came across this like all blue eye that I did and I was like, oh my God, like it's so pretty. What if I did pink? So I kind of got really inspired and I asked you guys on Twitter if you would like to see it and I was actually really blown away by how many of you responded. A bunch of you were like, yes, film it. So here I am. I absolutely adore the way this look turned out. Um, pretty much I wanted to do all pink. So the rule for today was to have no neutral shadows in the eye. Like there's not an ounce of a brown or neutral tone shadow on the eyes right now. It is all pink and I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. And for the face, I wanted to make sure it was gonna be super full covered. Oh, and also I'm wearing this faux pony that I got from insert name here and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I feel super bougie. I just think it's so cute. I just wanted to try something new. I've never really tried like extensions or faux ponies or really anything like that. So yeah, I wanted to try something new and I actually really love it. So let me know what you guys think. I will link it down below. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in checking out how I got this all pink glam makeup look, then make sure you keep on watching. So we're gonna get started with an OG favorite of mine and this is the Huda Beauty Pre Makeup Base. Honestly, like this is my go-to primer anytime I think of like, I don't know if I'm like, you know what? I just need, you know, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. What am I even saying? <laughs> Do you ever start a sentence and don't know where it's going? I am loving my little faux pony today, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, the first time, well, today's the first day I tried it, but like when I first put it in, I just couldn't like put it right. Like it's my first time even like working with the faux pony, so I just couldn't clip it in right. And then when I did think that I clipped it in right, it didn't look good because like I didn't clip it in right. So I was like, you know, I don't think, like I got frustrated. I was like, I don't think the faux ponies are for me. But then I was like, okay, Amy, just try it one more time and just like, do it properly, you know what I mean? Like step by step. So I did that and it actually like sits right, it fits right, and I just think it looks really good. I would prefer it was a little shorter. I feel like it's like hella long, but it's really like bougie and cute and I'm just, you know, trying something new. So anyways, um, I'm gonna use the, my favorite, the Wet n Wild foundation. I have yet to try their new foundation, the dewy version. I haven't received it in PR yet and I there it's not in stores in Canada yet. So yeah, I'm kind of, missing out on it a little bit but i do really want to try it like i'm super I'm like dying to try it but for now i of course just love the original formula as well this is the matte version so i am going to do a second layer because i just really want to make sure that all of my redness and everything is covered and i have a really clean um flawless full coverage and base this foundation is absolutely incredible. I always say it's like a filter for your face, like a real-time live filter. I am obsessed with it. It's so smoothing. So I'm going to be using the new Hourglass Concealer because this is such a smooth concealer, you guys. So this is the shade Beach, which is a little bit too... Not a little bit in my, like, for me, it's too light for... Uh, too dark for me because I like a, a lighter concealer and this one kind of matches my foundation almost. Um, but I'm going to do it so I can get more coverage and I'm also going to use it on these little marks and anywhere that I kind of need it. Like this concealer is so incredibly smooth under the eye. So to brighten up the under eye, I'm going to go ahead and use the KKW Beauty Concealer in the shade 5 Light. I love this concealer as well. It's very, very nice. It's become like my go-to. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eye with the Huda Beauty, I think this is just called the yeah, Easy Bake Baking and Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Pound Cake. I recently tried this shade and I actually really like it. Baking the under eye is one of my favorite little tricks whenever I do wanna you know, amp it up and do a more full coverage glam look um, because this really is gonna make your under eye look super flawless. And just dust that off. I don't really like leaving mine on for too long. I will literally leave mine on for like 30 seconds to a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour and one of my favorites, of course, actually my ultimate favorite, is the Huda Beauty Tantor. So anytime I wanna kinda amp it up and do a super glam look, I do tend to go for the shade medium, which is just a little darker, but I'm gonna do both today. I'm gonna go for the shade light overall and then I'm probably gonna just add a little extra definition with medium. So of course, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. contour brush that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Take a little bit of that. And I'm also gonna bring that up the center 
or sorry, up the sides of my face, not the center. I even go as far as to like half my eyebrow um, because it will really help to slim down the face. Don't do too much on the forehead because I don't really have a large forehead. Um, if you do have a large forehead, it's really good to kind of, you know, add a lot up there. If you have a small forehead, make sure to leave it all open. I like a little bit, so I just do a little bit up top there. So I am going to take some more. And just drag that underneath the jaw. Bring it down, blend it out, and then I always take a little bit extra and put it along the chin right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a Morphe M436 brush, dip into the medium shade, which is more of a darker shade, and just gonna add a little extra. Look at sugar baby in the back, like what are you doing boy? I'm gonna go into medium with the e.l.f. brush. Just take a little tad bit of that. And add some to the sides. This will just deepen it up of course. Taking the shade medium, just contour the lip, it'll make it look a little bigger, a little poutier. For the nose, I hate contouring my nose, you guys, to be honest with you. I don't feel like I'm good at it, <laughs> but I'm gonna take the shade light, and I'm actually just gonna start from up here, because it's gonna create a really like, <laughs> snatched look. And I'm only adding a little bit, because I don't like a harsh nose contour. Just a little shading. And I'm gonna literally take a blender brush that I would normally use for my eyes and I'm going to buff that out. I'm gonna add even more under the lip. So now that I finished my cream contour, I am going to set everything and bronze with the um, MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. This is like an ultimate fave. And I always kind of take whatever's left over on the brush and just go over my nose and like on my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on some blush. I want to do like a decked out all pink look today. So I'm talking pink eyes, pink lips, pink blush, like the whole shebang. It's gonna look like pink threw up on me and I'm gonna freaking love it. So I'm gonna use, it sucks because they don't sell these anymore, but this is my favorite pink blush. If you guys have like an alternative that I can use that's like similar to this, this is like the prettiest little baby pink blush. Like, look at how pretty that is. It's like the softest, pretty baby pink. Okay, so I feel really bad because they don't sell this anymore either, but you guys, like OG subscribers of mine know, this is my favorite highlighter in the entire world from the um, Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I wish they would re-release this. Like, I cannot find anything better than this. This is the best highlight in the world. But today, I think I'm gonna use this really pretty pinky shade. It's like a peachy pinky shade. Let's just like use it for fun and switch things up. This is the shade Kitty Cat. So we're gonna use that. I'm only gonna put a little bit because regardless, I don't really want like a super highlighted look, but I'm curious to see how this is gonna look. Oh, it's so pretty. Again, to be honest with you guys, like you're probably like, oh, I don't really see it too much. Like I really don't wanna put a lot of highlight on today. I kind of just want like a little, a little dust in, a little sprinkle sprinkle. Yeah, like I literally just want a little bit. And it doesn't really look too pinky on the cheeks. It just has this very light pinky iridescence, which is really pretty. Now we're just onto the brows. I'm probably gonna skip this part or really fast forward it to be honest with you, cause it's going to take forever. And we ain't got the time. And I'm gonna use my little pink Amrezy mirror because that's today's theme. <laughs> Okay, so although I know I'm gonna do an all pink makeup look, I don't have an exact, exact picture of in my mind what I want to do. So again, I'm going to wing it. <laughs> That's just what we're gonna do. But look at how many eyeshadow palettes I pulled from my collection to use today. Yeah. Someone come out with just like an all pink palette, please. Um, I will say the Huda Beauty Neon palette. This one's really nice because there are a bunch of like really pretty pink shades to use in there. And then in the orange one, there's also another really pretty pink in there. So these are like really nice, honestly. 
So the um, BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette, or Take Me Back to Brazil palette has a lot of really pretty pinks right in this section. So I think I'm gonna use a majority of that today. I am going to use this really pretty shade right here. It's a very, very muted, light, 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 dusty kind of pink. So I think it's gonna be a great alternative to a neutral. I might even actually mix it with this shade called Eat Cake. I think it's just gonna be a great transition shade and an alternative to my standard neutral that I would normally pop into the crease. So I'm gonna bring that quite up high. Because I do have um, slightly hooded eyes, I like to extend, like instead of putting it here, I kinda put it up here a little bit, just go up a little bit more. And oftentimes I will do my shadow with my eye open so that I can really visualize and see how I need to extend it, how it'll show when my eyes are open and et cetera. Um, and I am going to really dust that and always just kind of bring it out here a little bit, extend it to the tail of my brow. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little bit, a little bit intimidated to work with pink because I don't think I ever really have like this to this extent. Um, yeah, I don't think I ever have to this extent, so I'm a little bit intimidated. I don't wanna look like I got pink eye or punched in the eye here. I'm <laughs> just, just keeping it real. Um, okay, maybe I'm gonna start off slow. I, as you can tell, I'm not, a, I'm not a daredevil when it comes to colorful eye looks. I'm gonna start off slow here, okay? I'm gonna use this little really pretty, let me actually get up close so you guys can really see it, this pretty pink right there. And I am just going to pop this, oh, that's so pretty. Pop that right into the crease, but only on the outer portion. I'm also going to take it and put it on the outer V, but also bring it here like to the mid as well. So, oh, I forgot to take off what brush I was using. So for this um, pink out here, I used the Lux 227, or sorry, Zoeva, <laughs> the Zoeva. Lux Soft Definer 227. That was really nice to work with. Um, and then for, I'm gonna do like a darker right here. For the outer corner, I am going to use, I'm like super intimidated, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna use this really gorgeous pink right here, this one. Cause I feel like this one has a slight purple undertone and I just wanna go more pink. So I'm gonna use this third shade right there, even though it's not quite as, yeah, I think that's dark enough. Um, yeah, use that third shade right there and I am just going to keep that focused on the outer V. Yeah, it might not be as dark as I would need it to be, but it is gorgeous. Like look at that pigment, this is beautiful. And I am just gonna really keep this focused on the outer, I'm not gonna bring it up and in too much like I did with the other one. Just gonna switch back to this shade, it just has some leftover product and use that as like a blender. So I'm gonna switch over to a Morphe M513 and take, I'm gonna take this first shade. So the first shade up here. I just wanna see what it looks like, to be honest. So I think I'm just going to dust that into the crease. Oh, that's pretty, woo! But it is pigmented, like these Huda neon shadows do not mess around. They mean business. Wow. Going to take my KKW concealer, I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand. Take the Sigma lid shader, this is the E56. So I'm gonna take that concealer and I'm just going to map out my lid. So I don't need it to look so perfect, so what I'm gonna do is take this Sigma Exact Blend E32 and I'm just going to blend out that concealer and like buff it out. So what I'm gonna do for the inner half of the eye is I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two shades and I'm just going to apply that on the inner portion. And for this, I'm using the Sigma E58 cream color brush. 
One thing I'm gonna do, and I love doing this, is I will take the brush, instead of holding it flat, I'll kind of like tilt it to the shape of my tear duct, or like that inner, whatever, <laughs> and just take that and dip it all the way up. And what that does is when you're looking down and when you tilt your head up, wherever the light hits, it just opens up your eyes and like opens up that space. I do want to just add a little, little bit of this. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. So it's just going to add a little bit of like extra sparkle. I'm going to use the How Many Carrots by Fenty. This is a really great, it's kind of dirty in the center because I've mixed it, but I'm going to use the white from the corners. This is a really gorgeous white highlight that I love just like topping at the tip of my cheek, but for today I'm gonna use it right in the inner corner. Take a little bit more and just feather it and blend it into the barb shade. I am going to take the shade and, oh, I thought it was angelic, adulting right here. Pretty little matte dusty pink that I've been using as a transition shade. I'm gonna keep it in the middle of my eye and out. So I'm gonna take the Morphe M431 pencil brush and I'm going to go back into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and use this really pretty pink shade, the second one. And I'm just gonna put that only on the outer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this really small brush. This is the Luxie 151. I'm gonna take the third shade the third pink shade and I'm just gonna really focus this on the bottom really close to the lash line actually I ended up using this shade really close to the lash line <laughs> what the actual well, I'm just gonna let that dry. Okay, so lashes are on, and then the last thing that I am going to do is add this into my waterline. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Crayon in the shade Pink of Me, and it's just a really pale baby pink and I'm gonna add a touch of the NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk so for the lips I decided I still want to go nude but I want to go like more towards a nude pink for lip liner I've decided to do strip down by Mac so I decided to go with the shade sand from Anastasia and I am really focusing it on the center of the lip. So then I'm gonna to top off the lips with the ColourPop Gloss in the shade Fairy Floss. And I'm gonna focus that on the center as well. I'm kind of tempted to also put this. This is the Pixie um, from Chloe Morello Lip Gloss in the shade Parfait. Kind of tempted to just... I feel like I just want to add like a little bit of that. Just a little, little bit. Not too. So yeah, that pretty much completes the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what look you guys want me to do next. I'm thinking of doing like an ultimate soft glam makeup look. Like go-to soft glam. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.